three. I bet you Duke players think there are six Vegas players playing defense on half court against them. There's just a man every passing lane. There was a... And Duke just can't get it to fall. Henderson managed to take it away from Young, but coming back up has it stripped. Johnson's great hands. Hunt wants the three. You know, Brent, Jerry Jarkanian got great reputation for his man-to-man -man defense at UNLV. When he was at Long Beach, position. That's why he gets so many of those push outs. 22 points, 8 rebounds for Larry Johnson. Hunt from the side of Henderson could not stop. Still missing from three-point range. And Johnson off with another rebound. Snap pass now to Hunt. Score the triple. Because of some of those suspensions. Now, Tarkanian was ordered suspended for two years by the NCAA. And that suit went all the way to the Supreme Court. He has provided some character and leadership for this team. And so not all of what you hear and see with the Shark is bad. Well, certainly not activities in terms of their practice sessions and the way his team performs. Johnson. And the putback by Arthur. Great fans in Las Vegas, we should point out. You can hear the noise in the background. They have a lot of them in McNichols here tonight. As Sianovich hits the three. NCAA championship game. And that was with UCLA. Buries a three. Battle. Moses Curry were eligible. Jones was the starting center on this clock. Good luck shot. Larry Johnson just a man among boys in this game. Before the game, Vice misfiring. Man, Johnson gets it back, and now Johnson came into the room with his son and spoke to the team. It was all of that. Early misfiring. And still doesn't have a field goal since the UCLA game. That's Dave Rice putting for people who think that this Vegas team is going to descend to 68. And uh, certainly when we look back to the 80s, that string of remarkable NCAA championship game. A route won by the San Francisco 49ers. Davis on his left, and they turn it over again. Jones wanted to make a fancy play. This game, 103 to 70. the world championship team as well so he's got a long arduous summer lost it and coming back is Hurley but this night belongs to Las Vegas Billy, show us what happened on that last situation. Duke inbounding to McCaffrey. Well, Christian Leitner is going to go long, and by doing so, he puts the inbounds play in trouble in the fact that the ball, the ball has to go to McCaffrey. Now watch, but Leitner goes long, and that fools the inbounder, and that puts McCaffrey with the ball, and Kansas knocks it out. You've got, if you're Leitner, you've got to come back to the ball. Possession is more important now than the score. Kansas down seven. That ball was tipped by Hill, but Randall gets it. Down seven, one timeout remaining for the Jayhawks. Jordan on the drive, pull up jumper, public laps and good. And the Kansas burns its last timeout. 34.5 seconds to go, and the Jayhawks won't go away. Welcome you back to the Hoosier Dome. They just accidentally ran a second and a half off the clock a moment ago. Kansas has uh, scored six unanswered in the last 37 seconds to move within five. Duke has one timeout left. The Jayhawks have used them all, Billy. Very critical inbounds pass here with Kansas on this run. Now, if you're going to foul anybody, you're going to want to foul Grant Hill if you can. You can see. 
All right, they adjusted on the clock, Billy. Mickey Crowley spotted it. Hill runs the baseline. They'd love to get the ball to Leitner and make them foul Leitner. Jamison's on him. Leitner now doubled up. Bounce pass to Hill. And he calls a timeout. He called a timeout and had one second left before it had been a 10-second violation. Smart play by Thomas Hill. 25 seconds to go. So I'll tell you, Billy, the, the, the timekeeper has an itchy finger. Watch the clock start before it's even inbounded. Burned yep. another second off the clock, and Judd Heathcote and Michigan State aren't even <laughs> playing in this game. He's here, though. <laughs> Maybe that's what caused oh, it. They oh, they got, got Davis on the break. And a shield by Leitner to help it. That is ball game. Mike Krzyzewski doesn't want to celebrate yet. Woodbury, they'll let him go. He missed. Hill tips it out. Jamison has it. Knocks Hill to the floor. Still can't connect. And it's Duke's basketball. And there it is. The first time I've seen Mike Krzyzewski smile. He knows he has that monkey off his back. Leitner wants it. High pass for Leitner. Sees Davis. Woodbury intercepts. Final seconds. Jordan will put up the jumper. It doesn't matter. Duke has won its first national championship. And the 1992 championship game is underway. Thomas Hill on the tip. Weber gets around Leitner. Block by Hill. Grant Hill blocked it, but right back to Michigan. Jackson saved it. Got it over to King, and that's a three. Early, a long range three. Grant Hill gets it back out last second. Thomas Hill right on the line. Yes. Leitner throws it away to Rose. Came away with a victory. There's Hurley with a breakaway. Picks up the loose ball and takes it to the glass for two. And how about that dribbling ability of Chris Weber? How about the oh! numbers behind the back and Polinka scoring in a foul. Jimmy King back in the iron. Weber up high to tip it home. King couldn't handle it though, and Duke has the numbers. Back to yeah. Leitner. They get him started right away. Grant Hill slips it in to Lang. And Duke dunks right back on Michigan. Look at Davis fighting for it with the sprained ankle on the floor. Rose at the other end. Gets the roll. Drives for the two. Tipped up. Oh, what a rebound by Thomas Hill. 15 of the 20 points you just saw front court scoring in a half for Duke. Coming from Leitner, who really is backing in on Howard. Sets a screen down for Hill. Oh Hurley with under five. Good block. Hill has to beat the clock by a second. And tipped up and in by Grant Hill. Under two to play. Lang is open. Lang 
for the jam. And here comes Duke on the break. Behind the back, Hurley to Hill. Why not? Hosser. The game is over. The Duke of Destiny has won it. For the first time in two decades, college basketball has a repeat champion.